Alright, I wanna see Karalal Yawan Bashan Yoshai Bashan Mokok Dash Double of Nancy the Elders Not Rule Well Bashan Yoshai Double of Nancy to the elders of GMS that rule well and to the brothers Sorry. and the four corners of the earth that preach in this wooden truth and sincerity trying to stay in now pilgrim spirit until you have a shy with you say shalom Damn. shalom all right so let's say you know there's two brothers from me from the GMS Trinidad East Camp all right my name is Yaraba my name is Muratazak all right, just say that go through, you like go through some scriptures talking about knowing the terror of the Lord. Go on. Sorry, actually, we 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 touch on this some some time before, you know, on a street video, but you say that do a little sit down on it because understand how important knowing the terror of the Lord is. Yeah, understand is actually a very important thing that the Lord actually requires, and that is that is one of the reasons why these people out here. These two thirds, they are how they are because they don't have a fear for the Lord. They don't understand. They don't understand how terrible or how serious the Lord actually is. Because you'll see, even even the Lord even show you through the men that He was very good with. Show you through men like Moses. Show you through men like um, Solomon. Show you through men like David. All these men were, were close to the Lord. David was actually classed as a man after the Lord's heart. But as soon as David played the shepherd, the Lord used to deal with him. You understand? Um, he's, a, he's a very serious man. And just like I talk about, um, let's like talk about these scriptures. The scriptures say, um, um, referring to Yahweh Shia Mashiach, they say, when you see me, you see the Father. And how, how they portray Yahweh Shia is in the portrait. The scriptures portray him as an austere or a hard man, a serious man. You understand? Um, and that is exactly how his father is, a serious man also. And you can even see it through the, through the different signs in history. Anytime Israel used to mess up, they would go into slavery. And even when Israel was established, anytime somebody was doing folly, they would be dealt with automatically. Um, I have, um, I have a precept here. So there's, um, there's 2 Corinthians 5, verse 11. It says, Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. And that is something that the prophets actually knew. That the Lord was a very serious man. You understand? Ezekiel, I think Ezekiel or one of the prophets, the, the wife get killed and tell them they didn't cry. <laughs> yeah. yeah um, so cool. Right, tell me about that. Right, tell me about that. He killed just yeah, like take your wife and he said, Don't cry, don't even shut up. Yeah, yeah, that's that. And that's it. The, 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 the scripture show you all over how, how serious the Lord is. He's a very serious man. When he, when he, when he said Noah to, to go and warn one people and Noah, but not me and that, but Noah ran away. He had to sit down in a, in a, in a, he had to sit down in Leviathan belly for three days. Come. Yeah, you understand? And all these are uh, the scriptures talk about it. say all things are written a four time were written for our learning. learning. So by, mm. by watching these things, you could be able to see how serious the Lord is. Which is contrary to how there's actually portray him in this society. There's portray him as a feministic, you know, kind of gilly gilly. That's how there's portray our shy as a feministic kind of gilly gilly man who does talk oh. about sensitivity and love. Can. Right, I'll finish this precept. It's here. Um, Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto power, and I trust also are made manifest into your, into your consciences. Korean truly, we know as prophets the penalties that befall us and the benefits if we don't do his will. Just like, how Job, just like how Job did face it. If Job wasn't willing to, you know, but he was made to turn around, but if he, if, he, if he didn't turn around, he'd have stayed in that belly and die. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> because it have, it have penalties and benefits for doing and not doing the Lord's will. Can. And that is what these, 
and dies with these people out here. So lucky, you go on mute there. I don't know why. So what were you saying? I know here in Iraq. No volume, man. I don't know why. Yeah, man. Gone. Yeah, so like about it. I, I, I call it coming on like like that. I threw off the audio, my bad. Oh, okay. All right. So I was saying, what was oh, exactly what I was saying just now? You were saying like that consequences. Can for what? And it's not on benefits for knowing. Can I'm actually doing the Lord's will because the Lord set up a perfect system, just like they talk about in um, Ezekiel. If you could get, if you wanna get off me, in Ezekiel three seventeen. Have a question. The Lord set up a perfect system, whereas it's just like a, a normal parent, you have benefits if you obey your parents, and you have penalties if you don't. You understand? It's a similar system. And as a child, a children actually supposed to fear the parents. You yeah. understand? To, to, to know that here we're going on. If I don't do this, my father or my mother will break me in half. You understand? <laughs> but this... This system, as I was talking about some time ago, this system doesn't teach you to have a fear for who you're supposed to have a fear for. This whole system backwards. Men does, men does think that the Lord does serve them. <laughs> you understand? Men does serve the women and parents does serve the children. When, um, every, when everything's supposed to be the complete opposite. Opposite. Children supposed to supposed to serve the parents. Parents supposed to, um, the, the wife supposed to serve the husband. And the husband is supposed to serve the Lord, but everything is opposite. You understand? They don't have the, they don't have a fear for who they're supposed to have a fear for. There are some foolish parents that uh, that be afraid that the, the, the children wouldn't speak to them anymore. <laughs> some men some men go actually forsake the Lord because they're afraid that the wife will stop talking to them. Mm. You understand? That is the mm -hmm. kind of fear that the, the, these people have out here—the misguided, the delusional. But they don't understand the true terror of the Lord and the things that the Lord could do to you if you're actually disobedient to him. Go ahead now. Uh, Ezekiel 3 and verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Okay. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest the one the wicked from his wicked way, to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. So that is, that is something the Lord telling you here what's going on. If you ain't warning them, you go in and feel it too. That is a threat. You understand? <laughs> so it is a, it's a benefit if you do it, but there's also a penalty if you don't do it. And that, that penalty is supposed to be afraid of that. You understand? And one of the reasons why the men, the men of the Lord is go out and even the prophets back then, they used to go out and preach and teach and do what they're supposed to do because they understand what would happen if they do it and they understand what would happen if they don't do it. You understand? Go ahead. Yet, if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. God. And I, like I said, I one of the reasons why we just come out and do this. Just now. It's a piece of what I'm looking for. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why we just come out and do this. Because we understand that the Lord is a, is a serious man. And if you don't do according to what you tell it to do. Because tutors of Israel, they're going to perish for what? Rebellion. Come. Right? I'll get her. That have a precept talking about that. That is um. That is Samuel. Um, that's not. I think I first Samuel fifteen. 
Put some your fifteen verse. Nice now. Gonna finish with the preset. Alright. Verse 20. And when a righteous man doth turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die, because thou hast not given him warning. He shall die in his sin, and his righteousness which he had done shall not be remembered. But his blood will I will I require at thine hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man and the righteous sin not, and he do not sin, he shall surely live because he he is warned. Also thou hast delivered thy soul. So all lies the process of actually prophesying for the Lord. Because we as the scriptures talk about working towards that penny. So you got penny on one side if you do good. It's like, it's like how we tell um, Cain and he, it's like how we tell Cain, you say, if thou doest good, thou shalt be rewarded. But if, thou, but if thou doest not good, sin lie to the door. <laughs> you understand? So it have, it have penalties and benefits. The Lord is not just about love. I have my precept here. Today, um, the first Samuel 15, uh, we verse 4 from 22, right? It says, and Samuel said, had the Lord a great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Because that is how two thirds of Israel is out here, though disobedience. You understand? Now, men in the Lord will struggle with these things from time to time because they're in the flesh. Cool. So these, these two thirds are out here, they're outright disobedient and rebellious. They don't, they don't even want to even try to do the Lord's will. You understand? They say, Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of rams. They say, For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Oh. And, we, and where's, the, where's the penalty of a witch? That is supposed to burn them. Can't. Can't. And wait is going to happen to tutors of Israel. <laughs> going to you understand? Ah, like who's here the... for you, Go ahead. Who's here for and six? My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. And the Lord has forgotten them. That next lesson I will to do some time ago about, about, the, um, about the election. Because yeah. those are the ones that will actually be obedient on him and actually fear him. In the matter of time, and, um, I don't remember exactly where the scripture is. In that time with, with Moses, when the, when the people would, um, they'd hear the voice of the Lord and they get frightened. You understand? And the Lord was pleased with that. <laughs> you understand? The Lord was actually pleased with that. Mm -hmm. See how, how they had a fear for me that they would keep my commandments. God. Because that would actually keep you in check in this truth. A man could be how upset if he understands that the Lord will destroy him, he will be of himself. <laughs> John. Yeah. You could be how upset, whatever could happen to you. That's what the scriptures say about be, be angry but sin ye not. You can be upset. If you know because you're vexed you're going to do some shit, you will think five times first because you know the Lord is a serious man. And he don't want to hear you was vexed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He don't want to hear that. Let's see, this is Jeremiah, was it? That precept I was just looking for. Yeah. That's now. Yeah, precept man about Russia. Um, Jeremiah. Jeremiah 5. Mm -hmm. Verse 7 21. Baba Kosha. 41? 21? 20, yeah, 7 21. Done. 
Find the wrong thing. Jeremiah 5, right? Yeah. Jeremiah 5 and, 20, 5 and 21. Hear now this, O foolish people, and without understanding, which have eyes and see not, which have ears and hear not. And that, that right now, that refers to what? The two thirds of Israel. The and, ones that actually do be, can be able to comprehend how serious a man the Lord is. I just, I just talk to people about keeping laws and all these things. And the first thing the jump up and say is that I'm not perfect. And they're always looking for some kind of excuse to, 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 to actually not have to put the effort into doing the Lord's will. Already and true. Because they don't have a fear for the Lord. They, they can't be able to see how the saints does actually see it. To understand how, how serious the Lord really is. And the kind of things that he could do to you. If it is you're disobedient on him. You don't have that uh, spiritual eyes to see that. Good. Fear ye not me, saith Yahweh. Will ye not tremble, tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bond, bound of the sea by perpetual decree, that it cannot pass it, and do the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail? Do the rock, yet can they not pass over it? But this people had a revolting and rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. Yeah, sorry, Lord said they revolted and gone. Even ref even even reference what he say. He say, Fear ye not me. If I'm an axe, if I'm an axe in your hey, you so you'd afraid me, boy. Hmm. You understand? Come. And that and that, 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 that's like that's like sarcasm. He said, You really not afraid of me? Because the Lord is the one who is actually keeping you alive. As scriptures talk about, it say the Lord kill it and the Lord make it alive. And there's none that could, that, that, that it could deliver you out of his hands. Hmm. That you not somebody to be afraid of? Gun. The other same precepts here. So what about the, 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 the line? He said, which have placed the sand or the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree. You understand? Perpetual meaning forever, decree meaning a command, you know. And that, that, that is really the kind of power that the Lord has. You understand? He just command the water not to go past the sand, you know, and the water. And, and water is a thing without a conscience and without a mind. So if right. you walk back a day, the most I may have a soul. Okay, go, go, let's talk about everything and everything on the earth. Have a like a spiritual essence state. Can you have a spiritual essence? But what I mean to say now, right? it's not, it's it, it not like how, like how we have comprehension or how our animal well, have Yeah, like what I mean to say now. And you understand? Because me and you could reason, you know, but <laughs> we can't reason with water. God. You understand what I mean to say? Like, we have dominion over the water, the water do have dominion over us. And yet, something as, 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 what is the word, boy? Something as basic as water. Do try to, to revolt or rebel against the Mosai. The Mosai say, do cross this bound, it a crossing that bound. You understand? Even, even after a tsunami, what has happened? The water does recede. I have a precept I'm looking for, it, and I'll show it right there watching that. And I'm not going to pull it up. You can paraphrase it. Yeah, it said, um, the fear of me is taught by the precepts of men. Oh, yes, 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 I know that. Did you have it? Yes, no. No. Huh? No. That's all. I'm looking for it too. The fear of me is taught by the precepts of men. Yeah. I don't know who's this person. That's not. Who the hell is this?
اول لو نیو تستمنت اول Now nah, by out man, and again now. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, you find a preset? No. Nah. Hmm. Yeah, that, I don't know, but I had it just the other day I was reading it, and just so it vanished, but kind of thing is that. Uh, my precept here. So there's um, Ecclesiastes 12, verse 13. Mm -hmm. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. It says, fear power and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. So even... Even Solomon would tell you, at least this was before, you know, he, um, he started to mingle in things that didn't concern him and went off. But he would tell you, even when he was, when he was right, say it's supposed to fear the Lord. Son. But even my scripture, we talk about with David, when, um, when one of his men to touch the ark and he fall down and die. <laughs> yeah, that when they was transporting it. God, I, I, I want the scripture to say, say um, they say David was angry that day. And they say yeah. he was afraid, and he was afraid of the Lord. <laughs> well, do get vex, man. Do get vex. <laughs> but even though he was, he was upset, he was still afraid because he understood how serious the Lord is. You understand? That is why he was upset, because <laughs> apparently the man who he trusts didn't understand how serious the Lord is. Uh, I am not looking for a precept here, you know. I will leave that precept be. After I realize, like Satan turns in, I ain't going through that today. They just have a mind supposed to be at peace. I will get a different precept. But there's one, I'll get one that's similar to it. He was saying something similar for it. Oh, 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 there's um, Mark 7, I'll start from 6. You see, he answered and said unto them, Well had Elias prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honoreth me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Mm -hmm. actually, because we're actually pe people that talk about the love of the Lord, but they don't understand even how the love of the Lord does work. You understand? They just go by the precepts of men, the things that they was actually taught. Because that, that exactly what the, what, the, what the scripture was detailing. We're talking about um, the, fear, the fear of me is taught by the precepts of men. Um, because these men out here who is actually who actually set up by, by Esau to lead the people astray, they don't teach the people that you're supposed to fear the Lord. And you're supposed to fear what will happen to you if you don't keep his ordinance. Uh, they're not even teaching the, the commandments. Exactly. Because they don't, they don't, they don't teach anything of, of, of purpose. Exactly. Correct and true that the scripture says so all things are written at four time or written for our learning. And really and truly, if you go back and you look at all the different situations that happened to Israel, it's always because there wasn't obedient unto the Lord. And the Lord had to actually pour that indignation upon them. Um. If you see some if you see and hear in something like that repetitively. You're supposed to be fearful. Okay, the Lord will do that to them over and over and over. If you know, it will be different. 
If you know, you just change your mind and say, well, the, 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 like I said, I was him in the past. That is not how, that is not how, how the Lord is anymore. That yeah, is like if he does change. Can. The scriptures say he changed not. Can. He was a serious man from the beginning and he'll be a serious man till the end. You understand? The scriptures talk about judgment be, not being executed speedily. So because they doesn't have to suffer faith as quickly now, or as swiftly now as they used to back then, the thing that the Lord on games. When really and truly, they don't understand that the Lord just, just full and knock up over the head. I have a precept for that. There is Sirach 45 and 19. It's a Esther. I will start from 18. Mm. It's a strangers, Sirach 45 and 18. Strangers conspired together against them and maligned him in the wilderness, even the men that were of Datans and Abiran side and the mm -hmm. congregation of Kor with fury and wrath. This the Lord saw and it displeased him and in his wrathful indignation would he consume. He did wonders upon them to consume them with a fiery flame. Good. If, if, if you look at that, it had many situations where the Lord actually poured the indignation onto men because he was, he was displeased about certain things. Done. You can. see, even with um, Judah's son, when you're supposed to, when you're supposed to come in onto your brother, wife, and he pull out, and the Lord kill him. Yeah, <laughs> son. Yeah, I'm killing. <laughs> show you how serious a man the Lord is, and you know, usually if a man do that, usually if a man do that, he will, you, you are, he will, he will, no, no. If he, if if he disagree, so like here, if he did disagree, he'd have his shoes loose, but. That is how wicked that man was also because he didn't disagree, you know. He went along with it and stopped halfway. <laughs> yeah, that is how wicked he is. And the, and the Lord gave vexed and kill him. That is how how that is how serious the Lord is. And the Lord actually have spirits set up to fulfill these things. Um, just like just like it show you know, I'll get in Chronicles. Look what you that 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 I'm not finding that that precept and I don't know why boy. Uh second chronicles eighteen second chronicles eighteen I'll start from eighteen and say again he said therefore hear the word of the Lord right he said I saw the Lord sitting upon his throne and all the hosts of heaven standing on his right hand and on his left and the Lord said, Who shall entice Ahab, king of Israel, that he might go up and fall at Ramad Gilead? So the most I put in, actually put in a hit on a man. Say, so going on, I don't like this man, but you're going on, you're going on set up that man to dead, boy. You understand? Who going to set up that man to dead? Now the Lord asked it. I had to my phone on airplane mode and I find this person calling and they keep messing up more audio. That precept you know read that with uh that is with uh, Micah. Yeah, Mark about that before airplane mode because I wasn't keep calling and messing up more you. Mm. Uh, hey, what's it about Micah? That precept. With ah, that was that is this. Right, I'll read um verse I'll read verse 19 and say, and the Lord's right, the Lord said, Who shall entice Ahab, king of Israel, that he may go up and fall at Ramad Gilead? And one spake, saying after this manner, and oh. another saying after that manner. 
God. Then they came out as spirits and stood before the Lord and yeah. said, I will entice him. And the Lord said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will oh, go out lying to lying spirits God. in the mouth of all his prophets. God. And the Lord said, Thou shalt entice him, and thou shalt also prevail. He said, Go out and do even so. Yeah, so the Lord actually par hit on that man because uh -huh. he, he was displeasing to him. That that is show you how how also it is to always try to please the Lord. You could be how upset you could going you could be going through how much stuff. At the end of the day, your job is to please the Most High. Man, that, that, that is the that is the old duty of man. Can and how we just do these things. Can that is how we just do these things by keeping the Lord's commandments by going out and feed the sheep. And by doing what is actually required of you because God. we know that we know that these things have a reward to be received and a penalty if you don't do it and 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 just like that that that's the that, um scenario in them in them precepts you just read out there with the spirits you understand if if you really keep that in mind that all right everything all spirits work for the lord that is scripture you understand so, if you keep in mind of that, you're supposed to always remember to please the Lord by, because remember, it has spirits reserved unto, unto revenge. Okay. If, you if, we, if, if we could go ahead and get out Danny Sirak. Yeah. You understand? It has spirits reserved for them thing, and you know what them spirits come off reservation for you. You understand? That is like I was saying in the book um, about Cain. It said, Thy desire shall be to him, and he shall rule over thee. That is not something that that is not something that you want for yourself. Um, Have it. I think it's um Sirach 39 verse 28. Sirach 39 verse 28. Verse 39 and 28. Yeah. It said there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Yeah, understand? And them same spirits going and be released. It done it done starting to be released on the earth already, but not in full force yet. When they say that you don't, don't talk about um the um the, the um the angels are holding back the four winds, God. I said very soon the Lord going and release them spirits on this place, and it going and be worse than it was ever seen at any point in time. And when they, when they, when they look at the when they look at the history of the scriptures, right? Because the scriptures say that that destruction that had to come is worse than anything else you ever see, and this this earth see some bloodshed already. This earth sees some bloodshed already. And you look at the kind of things that Israel had to go through in the past. Some of them had to eat their own children. God, he be let on the boots. God. And that is, that is show you how dread, how dread the wrath of the Lord is. The Lord rained down so much destruction on them that they had to eat, that to eat um the head of an ass and and and, and dung of a um, the dung of a dove. You understand? People had to eat, people had to boil their own son. <laughs> Just to, just to be satisfied with some flesh. And this time coming, going to be worse than that. They're going to be like the ultimate purge. Done. But the Lord going to actually release those spirits to destroy the people that was disobedient on them. Done. And that's all you have to remember, you know, that all spirits are controlled by the Most High. So Can. as soon as you find something rubbing you the wrong way, you know you don't start to go up. You have to put yourself back in our order. They see that let's talk about 
try any spirit. Can. That's how he has no way whether, whether it's of power or not. With this piece up as well. As sure as the stream finish, I will find it. Finish. <laughs> <laughs> as sure as the stream finish, I will find it. So you don't like to play games anyway, do you? He's a funny guy. I'll go back into the mark. I didn't finish the mark yet. The mark is the mark. The mark is more. That's a similar, a similar kind of paraphrase of it, but it's not. Mm -hmm. It's not a detailed one that I wanted. Uh, son, say, um, say Mark 7 verse 7 is say, How be it in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrine the commandments of men. And now we are talking about earlier. They don't teach things like the fear of the Lord. They just teach about love, love, love. I actually, I actually had had like little debates with people in the past, and they will talk about love and love. Say so, when they say fear, say that fear don't mean fear, no, that fear means respect. Say so when so when you say hate, you say that hate don't mean hate, no, that means displeased with. I so say so every. <laughs> hate don't real, mean hate, uh, means displeased. Real, real talking, her. Real talk. That's what I say to her. The hate means displeased with. The fear means respect. I say, but the love means love, right? The love and mean nothing else but love. <laughs> Everything else have a different meaning, but the love means love. <laughs> really and truly, the, the, the scriptures talk about the like soothing words. No, no Jake, no Jake out here who not in the right mind don't hear nothing about fear any Lord to actually do what he tell it to do. They want people to tell them, hey, you just love the Lord, the Lord love you, you sin, you'll forgive you, do what you want. Have a precept on that fear there. There is Isaiah 56 and 10. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Yea, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way, everyone for his gain from his quarter. Can. You see, just like how you say they say they all look to their own gain. Can. Like, 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 like I was saying before, you say everything backwards. Men don't focus on pleasing the Lord. Men just want the Lord to please them. Everybody Can. just every, focus ahead. on his own way, you know, for Can. his own gain. For his gain. Uh, you understand whether I be publicity, whether I be fame, whether I be money, whatever them consider as gain, once them could get that, then we use the scriptures to get Once it pleasing to them. Can. And you'll actually, you'll actually teach two thirds of Israel about the fear of the Lord, and they'll completely deny it. Why? Because it's not suiting the comfort that they want out of it. You understand? They don't want, they don't, they don't, two thirds don't want to hear about suffering. Or tribulation, they want to hear about so I see on you. You know, this year is my year, I'm going to be rich. That's the kind of thing that pieces that you light in. You understand? Vanity. Yeah, they remember them not them not created to get it. You can you understand? Because because if they was created to get it, they, they would understand this affliction now. They're supposed to be joyful for it. Can. To any affliction they're going through now, they're supposed to say, Hey, boy, to Wara, to Wara, you for this affliction. Ah, no win. Affliction, huh? No win. Jake's want to profit. Jake's want to profit and prosper 360. They want to prosper here. Yeah. And wanna they want to have the cake and eat it too. I eat it. Uh, I preserve it. You want to? They say, yeah, Ephesians 4 17. They say, they say, this I say, they for and testify in the Lord that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their hearts. Could I hold us walk with any vanity of the hearts, only studying things that please into them? Some some people don't even un, they don't they don't the, 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 they're even difficult to understand. 
that how a servant supposed to be because as a man of the lord use automatically a servant even as a wife use automatically a servant they just think when it is you you become these things is because you is the one that being served you understand the women out here who ask for husbands and when they get a husband they think the husband's supposed to serve them it's a men out here what want to be men of the lord and they think that just means that the lord will give them whatever they want you understand they don't want they just they just they just going along with things that suit the vanity of their desires and God. the natural balance of things they say they are um, they verse 18 they say having the understanding darkened being alienated from the life of power to the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their hearts and that is why two thirds will never get us because of the blindness of the hearts God and Jeremiah, yeah. Jeremiah 17, 9 said, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Can. You can't know it. So Can. your heart might be telling you this right and it's wrong. Okay, so yeah. That is a um, program and at least Jake's out here. Listen yeah. to your heart. <laughs> yes, huh? That is a program and at least these Jake's out here. And that's all that is pushing. That's all the, the that's all the teachers in the society just push to actually be true to your heart, as you say, as as as, as the song does go, and not actually be true to righteousness. Good. You have any more precepts? No, we are going. Not no, you are coming to mind right now. I will. 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 You know, all this be the Lord's will. Eh? Probably at some other point, I'll get to bring it out. You know, but there's just there's a few videos that talking about about the fear of the Lord, because there's something like I said, there's something that actually that something actually is required of you in this truth, as a man. Okay, the scriptures talk about in Romans. They say um how a man is under the law from the day he is born. Yeah, you know, can until the day he can. You actually belong to the Lord as a man as a man of the Lord. You belong to the Lord until you die. You're supposed to fear the Lord and keep his commandments. Cool. And, that, and that fear is actually what is keeping you in check. You can turn how it's have a lot of times that a short brother could testify that sometimes you might be upset about certain things. Sometimes my brother might get upset. Sometimes some two thirds might get upset. But just understanding the fear of the Lord and knowing that hey. You you go you go jack up for this. You understand? Exactly. You know, so sometimes that alone going through your mind just make you calm down. Because <laughs> you don't know, hey, the mother even try to think something like that before I get myself in trouble. Because that that, that way to keep men in check. Can. And Can. that's even how the Lord go ahead. No, I was going to say that. I, I was just going to say it would be the exact same thing you were saying. Mm -hmm. You understand because before you even think, nah, but I vex me going and do the works. To, nah, when you vex, die when you have to go and make sure and do the works. When you, <laughs> you can't, you, you, you can't be emotional about it. That will go it's, back to it. It's the same way. If it's angry and said not exactly the same way you would serve these heathens out here in your in your in your, in your jobs or whatnot. You understand? Say me how to serve the Musa. You might wake up. Yeah, you go feel to go to work. But you're going to be there. And you're going to be on time. And you're going to do your job. That's all. And, and it's a man it's, it's a man could show that kind of dedication towards his soul, but towards the Lord, problems. Exactly. You understand? That the kind of dedication is supposed to be so, showing towards the Lord. <laughs> I got a piece of paper. I got a piece of paper. Go ahead. Just uh, I got a piece of it. Um, one of them click back to me. It's today's um. It's today Matthew ten verse twenty eight. They say and fear not them, which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. They say but rather, fear him which is able to destroy both body and soul in hell. Can. So the scriptures tell you who to fear. Like I, like I was saying, they say, um, 
even back in time when, when Jacob was as when Israel was established, the Lord used to actually use fear to keep things in order. Can, but but Go ahead. look at most of the rulers. Let me say like not even in the early. Look at most of the rulers now. It's fair. There's just fear to keep things in there's just fear to keep things in order. You understand Caesar, Kangaskhan, all them them old ancient people. You understand? It's fair they used to what? To, to gather their um, what you call it? The empire? Yeah, that is the word the empire. It's fair. But yeah, it's them it, but them it was not according to righteousness. That is the difference. You understand? But, but with the Lord, the Lord had a system that he created that a man can be able to live peaceably with another man. Exactly. And a, system, and a system where it's pleasing to him. And if you didn't want to comply with the system, you would have to pay the price. Even when, I, even, even when a man like, um, like in, like in Joshua, the man who would take the accursed thing, you understand? He, what he do, he disobeyed the Lord. And what happened to him? The carry he and the entire family on top of the hill and stone him to death. So that all would fear and understand here what's going on. That what that that, that guy did it was bad. <laughs> Nobody mm. else should do something like that. You understand? Um, but it's like, alright, if you do the right thing, everything will be good. Like so You're you tell me, in your right mind, you would wake up at the and just well, not serve the Lord just to see what will happen. You really want to push that boundary? But I think about it, the Lord does quote, the Lord does make some men go up to, to be a, to, to be an example. Example, can you understand? So that is their lot. Their lot is to act because even back then, the men that these things used to happen to, they were set up to be an example, you know, so that the others could, the others who he want to keep in order would know you don't do these things. Can you understand? So that that is just their lot. And even now, even now, you'll see that the two thirds are an example to the one third, because we, because we, we see even the guy, the men who used to be under the Lord and fall off, and we understand that we don't want to be like them men. That would, that would, that would have you afraid to actually want to do the Lord's will, because you don't want to end up like those guys, because you know, when those guys come into the fold, and the fall out, they have a worse penalty to receive than even the ones who didn't come in in the first place. That is true. You understand? Them kind of thing would make you afraid. Them kind of thing would actually make you want to do... You see something like that. No, self, you want to do videos. Because you don't want that to happen to you. Because the Lord could take... The Lord could take your knowledge away. It's, it's, um, don't David talk about it. Say, take not thy Holy Spirit away from me. All right. All right. It's supposed to be always willing to do the Lord's will. Because at any point in time, he could find his pleasure in you and take it away. No man out here is special that he could say that it would never happen to him. Um, uh, that, but, he, that the kind of mindset he had to be in out here. That is really the kind of mindset he had to be in. Mm. So it's out of fear for the Lord always, so always. Even though you mightn't be in the better, the better spirit sometimes, you always try to do what is required of you okay. so that you can um, show you can see. Um, you understand it's be a struggle, but you gotta understand the terror of the Lord. <laughs> Cause he's a he's a he's a very serious man. It's like, it's like in the parable with the um in the parable with the talent. And the man take the talent and he hide it. And he, he say, what you tell him, he say, I, I know thou art a hard man. You know he's a man of the play. Hmm. You understand? So all these things are strike it in you to actually try to do according to the Lord's will. Because you pray, you pray him off today. It's so you should talk about um, putting out of the Lord day by day, just paraphrasing. You, you pray him off today, you pray him off tomorrow, you pray him off the next day. By the fourth day, you don't even remember what went on because you take your spirit away from you. Hmm. That's, that's how simple it could be out here. You understand? That's how simple it could be. Now you always have to make sure, examine yourself, always try to do according to what the Lord required of you because really and truly excuses is not something you have if you know you have something to do, do put it. yourself in place to do it you understand yeah. put yourself in place to do it 
Because if you had to go and look for hoes, you'd put yourself in place to do it. If you had to go and work for Esau to get money, you'd put yourself in place to do it. Much less for the man who creates you and will reward you better than anybody else ever could. Um, you understand? You just had to really, you just had to really sit down and think about the terror of the Lord sometimes. Because there are a lot of times things will be happening to you. And it's, sometimes it's because, hey, like you're forgetting the terror of the Lord, so you have to remind you. Exactly. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, that's not even I know. Sometimes he himself just sending you a warning. Exactly, because he want to keep you want to keep you on track. And things falling apart. That is a sign where you examine yourself, check yourself. Can make sure you to go on go on a journey if you need to go on a journey. Make sure you're right with the father. Do you supposed to be doing? Can. It's like I talk about the axis. Say he 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 pure from the blood of all men. You gotta hmm. make sure that the, that the day you leave here, you had to be wondering, I wonder if I do enough, boy. Or I wonder if, you know, I wonder if I was how I was supposed to be. Gotta, it not, it's not easy to do it, but you gotta try. Come, you have to give it your best. Come. Alright, so you look to close off on that. I'll show it. It might be a good time for us already. You know? You see, you see, you see me by chance? Yeah, I see you. I'm not, I'm not seeing myself, I don't know why. Somebody, somebody has called a man to keep throwing off. I don't know. You might try to close the apps to keep opening back. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, uh, go ahead and close off now. Baba I want to say, Kalalal, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rokwakadash. Once again, double honors to the honors of GMS that rule well. Can. And to the brothers in all the corners of the earth, still striving, still trying to keep their spirit fervent, still crying unto the Lord. Until you yeah. return, say yeah. Shalom. Shalom.